Yeah, his mother would have to keep him in the back room when Ray left for school because, you know, the dog following everywhere. And everywhere we played, no matter if we went out in the backwoods or we were building or tree houses or whatever we were doing, that dog was with him all the time. And boy, I tell you, you never want to mess with Ray because that dog was right there by his side, you know? And it wasn't a big dog, it was an ugly dog, it was a goofy looking dog, but, but it was a loyal, loving dog. And, and I was Ray's friend, and so he, he, was, he put up with me, and he liked me too. And one day, we were in the back room of Ray's house, in, in, in back in his bedroom, playing with cars or, or, or bricks or something, log, uh, Lincoln logs or something. And, and, and it, his mother yelled something, and, and you could tell the atmosphere went like this, you know. And, and we both got up and ran out. And the reason why she had yelled is because the dog ran across the road and got hit by a car, ran out in front on 4th Avenue oh. South End. Okay? When Ray went out there, I mean, he, he yells, he, he's, he immediately bursts into tears. He bends down to pick up this dog whom he loved and who loved him so much. And that dog bit him. Why did that dog bite him? Do you think people might do that? Now that dog turned out all right, okay? He went to the vet, he got fixed up. And that dog was just as loyal as always, just as loving to Ray as always. But folks, the dog bit him. The hand that whom he loved, who loved him, bit him. I'm telling you, people are like that. But you, Perhaps if you have another feeling about the church and you think the world revolves around you and you don't think that people ought to treat you that way, then you've got 